Hello, Makati. Thank you very much for having us out here tonight. Um, we, are, we represent the World Series of Fighting Global Championship. It is a very big honor for us to do our very first affiliated show here in the Philippines. We are the World Series of Fighting. We're, in the, we're not the United States Series of Fighting. We're here to find the next big MMA star, and we hope he's here in the Philippines. Everyone's been great to us so far. I don't want to sit here and talk your heads off tonight. I know you guys want to hear some, see some really great fights. Ferdy, thank you very much for hosting us, and uh, thank you to Underground Battle MMA. All right, thank you so much. That's Mr. Jason Lilly, VP of Operations, uh, World Series of Fighting Global Championship, and of course, the owner, Miss Danessa Hesser. Thank you so much. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the UGP Foreign Invasion. Presented by Underground Battle MMA and World Series of Fighting Global Championship. Are you ready? I can hear you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Presenting our fighter from the red corner and fighting out of Hitman Extreme Boxing Gym. He weighs in at 120 pounds. His height, 5 feet 4 inches, with a fight record, 2 wins and 2 losses. From San Andres, Bukit, Manila, France, Galvez! His opponent, from the blue corner and fighting out of Team Lucero's Fitness Gym. He weighs in at 118 pounds. He stands 5 feet two inches with a record of one win and no loss looking for his second straight win on the case from Banawe Fugao June boy Igorot Assassin Kim Ai your third man on the ring in charge of the action Arnel Lomibao Welcome to the uh, Underground Battle 13 Foreign Invasion, just tale of the tape. This is Michael Chosa with my partner here, Christian. Yasmin, take us through the tale of the tape. Christian. Franz Galvez, 22 years old, 5'4", 120 pounds from Hitman Extreme Gym against Junboy Kim Ai, 28 years old, uh, native of Ifugao, 5'2", 118 pounds from Lucero's Fitness Gym. Typical battle of a boxer and a Muay Thai fighter. Uh, who, who here is a boxer? Who has a boxing background? Uh, boxing background, I suppose, is this guy named Franz Galvez. He's coming from uh, Extreme Boxing Gym. Right. And Team Lucero is, so Lucero is, is uh, kickboxing. Known for the, okay, so... Uh, right. How many uh, rounds are we looking at, Christian, here uh, in this, uh, the first round? This, this is a strawweight division, right? Pinweight. Pinweight, pinweight okay. is 119. 119. Yep. So, so basically, this is our first bout. It's going to be a three-rounder at four minutes per round. We got a big height difference here, partner. Well, this guy, uh, Frank Galvez, has a two-inch, at least on paper, two-inch height advantage over uh, June Boy. Right, uh, right. Do you know anyone uh, of these uh, fighters uh, personally? Uh, personally, no, I don't. But uh, I know uh, fighters hailing from Ifugao are, are very strong in wrestling. Here we go, partner. So two stand-up fighters, right? Fighter yes. Uh, who do you think will bring? We go to the ground first. <laughs> I think, is, that, is, that, I, is that an option for these I, two? I, I think the Igorot assassin is going to go for a takedown here. Let's check it out. Three rounds of four minutes, as Christian mentioned. First kick there by June Boy, not hitting anything. Frank Galvez staying away. Again, as expected, two uh, stand-up fighters. Um, if anyone goes to the ground, that would be a surprise to all of us. Yes, it will be. <laughs> They're feeling each other out. There you go. There's a kick from Junboy. Kick to the leg. Galvez tries with a wayward right. Jab there straight, both of them. There's a clinch. Takedown by Franz Galvez. Now, he is on a half-guard position. And... Uh, Junboy is protecting. 
Now, a couple of good ground and pound strikes, but uh, he took him back up. Of course, both of these guys are gonna try to fight standing up, right. but that was a great takedown by Galvez. That's a, that's a good takedown. Here's another There's one. another one. Okay, he's uh, going for a guillotine choke, but normally, on a half guard, um, a guillotine choke uh, usually doesn't finish. Get yeah, finished. You, you're not squared up that way. Exactly, exactly. Uh, That's even worse on a mount. So if I was Jun Boy, I would uh, try to go for a sweep. A more dominant position. That what? has no pain at all. What, what do the um, judges look for? Question. Well, judges look for, uh, you know, the actual attempts there. Uh, here's, here's, again, a stand-up guillotine, but he needs to wrap his legs around his right. hips, which this didn't happen. Now they're on half guard. If Galvez is well-versed on the ground, he could actually do a shoulder lock, putting his hands together and... Well, you're talking about the arm that's around his neck. Exactly. And that would put a lot right. of pressure on, on, uh, on the shoulder. John Boy's oh, shoulder. Boy. That's correct. But it looks like he's standing up now. Going for a double leg. That's very strenuous on, on the forearm of Jun Boy. He needs to maybe transition to a, a better position rather than just, you know, grabbing the neck here. Is that a solid hold by Jun Boy at this point? Um, there you go, he's trying. That the, not uh, the not, forearms not really, the because, yeah, France has his leg. Here's, here's another, you know, your forearm is eventually going to die because, <laughs> because of the <laughs> wrong hold. That's great. Now he lets go. Side he, mount, reverse. Uh, he's got to switch his hips. Now you're, he's talking going about, for a you're talking about Galvez. Right, Galvez, right. right. Galvez in the blue. That's but uh, he represents the red corner. And Jun Boy Kim Ai is on the ground. And he represents the blue corner. Right. From Lucero. Here's another switching of the hips. He needs to escape out and maybe try to get an escape or a sweep. But it looks like he's just staying down there. You know, some people, Christian, think that if you're under and uh, someone's over you, like cradling you over that way, you are in the uh, you know, defensive position. Is that true in this situation? In this situation, it is because it's on side control. Right. But if it's in, inside the guard, then the person actually on top is in trouble because right. the attempts are there. Now he's, he's attempting to take the back. Now Jun Boy is now inside France's uh, guard. Okay, break. Good round. I gotta take us through that round. Look at uh, how would the judges uh, look at that, that the first round. Right. If I were to judge that fight, uh, I would give it to the red corner just because he had two takedown attempts. Right. He had more dominant position from half guard going to side control. Uh, at one point, he even mounted him. We, we did expect that uh, Jun Boy would be the guy who would take down Galvez. Right, right. But it was Galvez who kept on bringing down <laughs> Jun Boy. Quite a surprise to all of us. Exactly. Well, those are the things that you really can't, you know, uh, expect from both strikers. Right. You know, but that take down Galing says some jab that Tomama ito si, uh, si Galvez, and then he went for Nama. the. Uh, Went for the takedown. Double leg, yep. Right. Oh, oh. Interesting, this Galvez guy. Uh, <laughs> you see Jun Boy having this uh, you, you typical Igorot body, and I say that with full respect, my right. friend. You know, I know you're from that area also. Exactly. With, you know, huge legs, uh, glutes, and all that. <laughs> but, but Galvez doesn't look like a fighter, but he, he did all the takedowns in that first round, and you uh, said you, unofficially you're giving that first round to Galvez. Red corner, right. that's correct, partner. See, one of the things that uh, Jun Boy should have done is, is try to hip escape out instead of just grabbing and holding uh, his opponent in place. And, and that's a big no-no to the judges as well. Second round coming up. Take note, Frank Galvez has a two, two record, two wins, two loss record, while uh, Jun Boy, the Igorot assassin, has a one win, no loss record. Right. 
Here we go. That's a good straight, that exchange of uh, punches from both fighters. Here's another takedown from Galvez, but good reversal. That's a great reversal by Jun Bui. Now he's on side control. Now it's Jun Bui taking control right. of the ground fighting. He's going for a sit out, rest. that's a wrestling move, sit out, and then he, he got up. Nice left hook from Galvez. Jim is in trouble with that left hook. That's correct. He needs to get back up. His Mount, hooks are in. Mounting from He's gonna flat him out. Galvez. There you go. What he needs to do is elevate his butt so he can create some space. Right. But the referee is gonna stop this. Right. Oh, that's what it is. Good ground and pound from the back mount from our red corner. Franz Galvez. Galvez taking the advantage and the, and the ground fighting and uh, finishing him off with a ground mount. Hindi na nakakit itong si Jun Boy partner. He was guarding his face. Oh. And uh, the advice you were giving to raise up his butt, he couldn't. Because there was no leverage from the arms. <laughs> What a surprise that we expected uh, Jun Boy right. to be dominating on the ground. But you <laughs> see Galvez, na lang, no? No, 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 But look at Galvez, even now, though you look at his legs, they're, they're really nothing compared to, <laughs> to <laughs> Jun Boy's legs. But uh, a very happy Galvez representing the red corner. Well, that's the good thing about MMA. You never, you never can tell who's really going right. to be the dominant fighter. Right. Let's take it to the ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Arnel Lubiba calls a hand to this contest at 54 seconds in the second round. For your winner by TKO via ground and pound, from the red corner, Franz Galvez. So that makes it official. Galvez wins over Jun Boy. And uh, you see a welt on that left side of the face of the Igorot assassin. Right. Kind of surprised with the... Uh, boxing skills of Galvez. But you know, partner, in that exchange, the second round, it was, I think, uh, Junboy who was uh, hitting with that right straight. On the striking. <laughs> That's yep. right.